Hello everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play Breath of Fire. So last we left off... Yeah, th this town's kind of, um... Something going on around here. We know now there's a bridge that lead to a place we want to go to. And there's a missing villager. And a whole bunch of people apparently lost their damn minds. That, that's what we know. Also, there's a guy over here looking in the cave. Because a fly took his lunch. Ah, kind of rough, buddy. You can't even protect your lunch from a fly. I don't think there was anything over here. I don't think there's anything we want specifically. Okay, there are a cup there are a couple of upgrades here. We we will deal with that in due time though. We do have other things to do. Most notably, we need to kind of figure out exactly what's going on with the town. Nothing I really want there. So for now, let's just, let's go ahead and get our, uh, get everything set up the way we need. I have reasons. I have my reasons for this. For now, let's just go this way. As if we can't learn a thing or two about what might be going on in this general direction. So yeah, okay, uh, there is a flower. And that flower is apparently spitting out pollen that's doing nasty things to the villagers. Hmm, not much we can do about that right now. However, we can walk in here and see if we can find, see if we can learn anything. You know, right now, let's just auto battle and see what our luck is. These guys, okay, these guys are somewhat, somewhat sturdy, but they go down in like one turn. At least right now they do. And they give out cures. Cures are good. Cure twos are better, but cure twos aren't, or cures aren't bad. They're just readily available if you want to pay some money. Uh, almost one turn with him, too. So I think we can get into a bunch more of those fights, and those fights are worth getting into. Because, well, decent enemy to fight. It's not too difficult to fight. And provides a decent amount of experience and all that. Blue gets a level. Okay. And we learn Gale. Unfortunately, there's nothing in there. Sadly, we can't just keep respawning them. It'd be nice if we could. Also, you notice how hard we're hitting. It'd be nice if we could just keep respawning them, but every one of these little rooms we go into... It's gonna spawn us another one of the, uh, another one of these, uh, experience bags here. They may be able to do a few damage to us, but it's nothing a cure spell won't take care of. Hey, 
And also, they are guarding the treasure chests. I mean, even Nina's doing some good damage with the evil rapier. At 3,000 XP per fight, I, I don't... S and Rod 4, we, we will need a backup Rod. Sadly, Ox is still not faster than these things. I wish he was. There's no treasure in here, but they're... Aww. I'm sad. One of them didn't have anything for me. Maybe he was supposed to be there. He just thought it was happening to his friends and he left. Oh, you're gonna do this? I mean, it's... You know, I guess it's annoying. But not annoying enough to keep me from wanting to use you guys for leveling up. Okay, let's go this way. Let's do two things since we're in the menu here. There we go. Even if I forgot to do the second thing, which is actually important here. Because that hallway does go all the way around, but we can't just punch our way through. And I see no reason to not just punch our way through. Luckily, these little buzzers do not take much damage to go away. Still do Ox about 20 damage though, if they manage to get a hit in. Hello, Court! We haven't met you before, I don't think. I have no idea why you've got a red monocle. I guess because you're evil. So Court here says, hey, wants to know how the new formula affects us and it shrinks us down into, well, that big. So now to continue from where we are, we need to walk to the right and then walk north to find this little mouse hole right here. And if any of you have ever played Small Saga or the board game Mice and Mystics, we're, we're kind of at that. We're kind of getting to do that here. We've been shrunk down and mostly we're going to have to fight a bunch of roaches and talk to some mice here. Go ahead and rest at the mouse inn. They have to clarify that this is a mouse inn. I'll just say that. Big trouble a brewing. Unfortunately, we're still going to get attacked even though we're sitting in the inn. Well, what passes for an inn? Let's head this way. Also, just say there's big trouble brewing. Okay. Now, other than this little path we're taking here, and the two treasure chests you see in that room, there isn't a whole lot to worry about in this area.
Kind of a big, empty little spot there. Monster gave us a free life. Not quite as good as a 1-up, but I'll take it. So, all the cheese sitting right here is a problem because of the roaches. Now these roaches have one very annoying fact about them. They have a very short life bar, but a very long second wind. So we're gonna hit with Ford X. Use the Bolt Dragon because I haven't actually used the Dragon form. Not yet, we just got it, so I haven't had a boss to try it against. And yeah, significantly larger. Now, that ends the round. Luckily, we were able to get that done, but so, but um. Now, Rhea's attack is going to hit everybody on the goddamn board. That's what dragon forms do. They hit everything. It's not going to do a ton of damage compared to what Ox and Karn are doing, at least not to one target. But uh, it, you know, it hitting everybody is pretty nice. So maybe you've noticed just how long it's actually taking to wear down, wear down these guys after they hit their form. By four, I mean second wind. Okay. I mean, we're not in any real danger, but I will go ahead and heal him. But now that we've got all three of the er, all three of the roaches, one dead now, in their second wind forms, we can stop getting interrupted mid mid uh, turn order. Let's go ahead and just speed this up a tiny bit. It won't speed it up much, but it will speed it up a little. Also, I haven't used ice for much. So yeah, there we go. We have now reclaimed the mice's cheese from the roaches. I don't know if we still get attacked or if clearing out the boss actually just killed off all the random encounters in here. Sure, we'll stay again. Now, we can't do anything else in here because we can't go back the way we came. And the mouse is going to offer us a cure potion. 
So we want to grab this first, even if it is just an herb, because as soon as we grab this chest, we get out. And we grow to full size again. So now we are here in what looks to be a fairly scary room, except for the fact that there's not a whole lot to it, except you see the boss sitting over there. Unfortunately for the boss, we've, we've had an in visit since, the, uh, since we had to deal with the roaches. All these little floating platforms are, well, fairly easy to navigate. This is not this is not a difficult little platform puzzle, I guess. Which does not make this a platformer game. Good old curse and good old burnout. But that's what attacking somebody with the uh, equipment Nina's got on her, got on her uh, does for you. We do get to repel a little bit of that magic. So we get to deal with an upgraded version of the monster we were just farming down there. We're going to use the same tactics we did just a second ago. I don't even, I, the thing is about this guy, I don't even think this one has a second wind. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's no second wind on this one. He does hit decently hard with a couple of his attacks, though. The good thing is, so do we. And in case you're wondering why I don't, um, why I don't just buff Ox and Ox and Karn in this state anyway with the attack up spell, it's because they need it less than Ryu does. Sad but true. That was easy enough. The poison flower shall send us spiraling into madness. Yeah, the, the flower we just dealt with. So the flower made people crazy and turned Nicole Nikolai into a monster. Unfortunately, Nina's Cure 2 is not quite powerful enough. And Blue just kind of uh, berates Nina for not being strong enough. And for once, the princess is the one going, well, excuse me. But anyway, we take care of that. Unfortunately, we we did a pretty good sound beating on Nikolai there. And Nina doesn't help with... Oh, we got carried away. It's like, no, he's turned into a freaking monster, Nina. But now we need to find a frog and get oil. 
There are a few frogs in the frog cave, and you may be wondering, where is the frog cave? The frog cave is in a very different location. Blue just kind of barks at us and goes, go bring me oil. <sighs> so yeah, that, that's where we're at. We are now at a place where we need to go get oil of a frog to heal the wounds of a man who we basically kind of did a number on. So, you know, we can kind of reverse the damage we did even though he was turned into a monster by a mad scientist of some type. But anyway, yeah, that that's for next time. Because we've got a couple things we need to do anyway. So until then, take care everyone. <laughs>